Welcome to you Virgo. Yes, welcome. This is your tarot reading for the month of August. I really hope you get something from it. I hope you find it useful. I sincerely do, Virgo. Virgo, this looks an interesting reading. Quite a lot of readings we've had for the month of August. I've said all's well that ends well, but I can't say that about yours. I can't say it about... Oh, maybe I can. May, oh, <laughs> we'll come to that. Okay, look at the middle cards. That's the Queen of Wands. Uh, that's you flitting around from person to person, but maybe using people. That could be important. Now, this is an energy that runs throughout it. So, you know, I, mean, I mean, you know... It, I remember going to a party. It was somebody that who I used to rent a, a flat in their big house. Um, and then they moved up to Manchester where I was living. And there was a party. And she was going round from person to person, filling up their drinks, introducing people, keeping the party going. And she did a wonderful job of it. And, and you know, I don't think there was anything Machiavellian about it. But it's that sort of an energy, and it's that sort of an energy that runs through this entire reading. And I need to recognise that. Um, you look in the bottom right-hand corner, and we've got the... Is it, is it a ten? It is, isn't it? It's a ten of... It's a ten of one. Uh, oh, is that a nine? Ten. Ten of wands. You're struggling a bit. You feel like you're carrying the burden of the world on your shoulder. You're filling in for everybody. But if you look, the, the, the village is nearly there. It's nearly over. We then have, and this is current energy, we have the Two of Cups, which suggests a new love comes into your life. In the future, you're, we have the Ace of Swords. You're going to find out some new information, something useful. Maybe this isn't so bad after all. The energy impacting on the outcome is the hanged man. This is you waiting around for something to happen. Just looking at the lie of the land until you know how to move. Hmm. The energy that would prevent the outcome from happening is the moon card. Uh, that's fear of the unknown or, or fear and the unknown. And the outcome is the Seven of Swords card, which is a card of deception. And now, the little thing that came to my mind is, given that we've got the overall energy, the Queen of Wands, are you using people? So is it you that's sort of deceiving, acting strategically? That's the thing that leaps out at me. I'm, I'm not sure at this moment in time. So do listen to the rest of this so that we can find out. And if I can ask you to like and make a comment. And also if I can ask you to subscribe and hit the bell for future notifications. Because it doesn't half help me to, to grow this channel. And Virgo, I want to thank you in anticipation for that. You may well be asking... Why from Java? What's important about tarot from Java? And the truth is, there is nothing so important about tarot from Java. Simply that here in Java, we have many different spirits who will come to help in, in your tarot reading. It'll probably put a different reflection on things. For example, the spirits here are less likely to be concerned about love and finances despite people in Java being every bit as interested in these things as the rest of us. But maybe the spirits are trying to tell us something else. Now I'll be using probably two decks, but out of three decks. So the first deck is Taro Nusantara. The second deck is the Steampunk deck. And the third deck is the Light Visions Tarot. Um, Tarot Nusantara is actually a new one to me, which, which I love. Whereas the Light Visions, um, I've struggled with as a result of the rendering. Um, 
although I, I think I'll grow into it, I, I will keep using it and coming back to it. You can see on all of them, I'm using quite a lot of uh, salt, and that's to clear the energy and the spirits from them. Something that I do fairly regularly with my tarot. And I also, you'll see a number of gym app there that I use, um, just to bring a good energy to the tarot um, and to my reading. Perhaps the most important mystical object we use in Java is the Chris, the curly knife that you can see that I've placed across both decks. Chris are very important for bringing the spirits to work on any object here in Java. I call on the spirits of the mountain to assist me in shuffling the cards, in selecting the cards and interpret them correctly for Virgo. August 2022. Now, the energy that runs throughout this is the Queen of Wands. Now, she's a nice queen. People do love her. She's a queen that manages to get what she wants through other people. And, you know, maybe people love her because of it. As, as I said in my earlier story, there was that woman who went round the party introducing everybody, filling up their glasses with wine. And, you know, I think she just wanted the party to be a great party and she was doing her best to make it that way. But you could see it as somewhat manipulative behaviour, couldn't you? And I suppose that's the downside of this queen. Maybe she uses people. Now, I don't think many people can see through that, but, you know, maybe she does. She's a queen of action, very much a queen of action. She, and look at her, she's in her, on her throne. She's got her wand there, she's got a black cat there. So she's in tune with her subconscious as well as her, her you know, right and left brain sort of stuff there. Don't know the significance of the, well, maybe I do, of the sunflower. Maybe it is about blessings. Maybe it is. I mean, it's not a bad card at all. I just need to bear in mind there's that sort of little negative connotation that I have with it and this flows throughout the entire reading so I do need to recognize that in the recent past we have the ten of wands uh, this is you feeling like you're carrying an extra burden, maybe carrying other people's burdens, the burdens of the world on your shoulder. You're finding it a bit of a struggle. You're finding life a bit of a or we're finding life a bit of a struggle. Um, if you ask me, if you look at if you look at the the rendering, he's not holding them as well as he could. He's not tied them together and holding them as well as he could to make it easy to carry them, is he? So it's as though there might be a better way of doing things. But the other thing is, the village is close by. He's nearly there. He's nearly at his goal. Now, if I am right about maybe the negative aspect of this queen, uh, just maybe you've been shouldering too many other people's burdens and you're having to learn to be a bit cuter about life. I don't know. Getting other people to shoulder your burden as opposed to you shouldering theirs. Maybe that's it. Maybe. Now your two... Yeah, sorry, your, your current energy is the two of cups. Uh, this suggests to me a new love. I mean, it could be a new partnership. It's quite divine, you know. It's it's a lovely it's a lovely card that looks like an angel above them, doesn't it? So it's almost a soulmate. It's somebody that's been sent to you. Yeah, I mean, I I, I I do associate it with love, and I do associate it with a new love. I mean, I suppose it could be a newfound love in, you know, in, in within somebody you already know, but. No, it, it feels like a new love. Um, so, a, a, a great card to have, particularly after you've had that little bit of a struggle. Yeah, how does that fit in with a queen? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Well, she's the sort of person that would attract people, you know. She is the sort of person who'd attract people. I wonder if it's not a love, it's just some sort of a partnership. Could be, could be.
Now, your future energy is the Ace of Swords. Now, for a long time, I've been seeing this future energy as, as occurring in the month I'm doing the reading for. But I'm beginning to see it as increasingly outside of the other cards. You know, it literally is the future. It's after August. So chronologically, this is sort of the last card, even after the, the, the ending. And this is a nice card. It is a nice card. It's you getting some information. Now, it could be that you learn something, because if, if we see some of the later cards, well, particularly if we've got the moon there, which is the unknown, which is fear, then you getting some information will be a very welcome thing. It could be a new way of looking at things. It could be you going out and seeking information, intelligence, new ways of looking at the world. It could be all of those things... You look at the card, there's something divine about it, isn't it? It's something that that needs to happen. You need this information. That's certainly how it feels to me. And the energy impacting on the outcome is the hanged man. This is you waiting around for things to happen. Uh, maybe evaluating what's going on and waiting to act until you have a clear picture. But it could be enforced. I think both Scorpio and Sagittarius had this card. And I thought they were waiting around as a result of health crisis, financial crisis. You know, the, the crisis that they're around in the world. And they were waiting around before something doing radically different in their life. Because they were waiting for a better picture to emerge so that they could understand what seems to be pers purposeful confusion and misinformation. I mean, you look at him, he's hanging around, he's hanging upside down, there's nothing he can do but wait, is there? I don't, I'm not certain that, that this is such a global thing. I think these are things personal to you. I think you're aware that. Something's going on, but you don't know what it is. And so you're hanging around to see what it is. That's what I think it is. Although, as I say before, I thought that what it is, it could be you acting strategically. Hmm, I'm not sure. Now, throw in me slightly, because I, well, it's all to do with the interpretation of this ending, the Seven of, seven of Swords. Uh, but we now have the Moon card, and this would change the outcome or nullify the outcome. Uh, this is the unknown and fear of the unknown. Uh, this is you acting in ways because of you're worried about what might happen. Without really knowing what it is, there's information you're lacking. <gasps> Remember, we've got that ace of that ace of um, swords, which is you getting the information you need. Yeah, there's some information you're lacking, and that could cause a change of direction for you. But it does fall on how we we interpret this seven of swords, doesn't it? Um, there's a lobster coming out of the sea there. It looks like it's going up the mountain to spawn. I've no idea if they do spawn up the mountains. And, you know, they've got to go past... It's, he's got to go past those two animals. I don't know if they're dangerous or not. He's then got to go through a Hindu-style gateway, which... Uh, sorry, a Balinese-style gateway, which I'd associate with, with good things. So, you know, the unknown could be good or bad, couldn't it? But you're fearful of it. You're worried about it. That's for sure. As I have said, that it all depends on how you interpret this Seven of Swords. Is somebody trying to deceive you? Is somebody trying to get away with something? Or are you sort of acting strategically? Is it you that's doing it? And that Queen of Wands would suggest 
it's you trying to do it. But I, I'm just not sure. I'm not sure. Um, because of the card that leads to it is the is the hanged man. As though you were aware of something going on but didn't quite know what it was. And the moon card would be you being fearful of it. Yeah. Oh, that doesn't really... No. No, I'm not sure. I'm still not sure. You look at him. He's made off with five swords but there's two, two left. He's looking behind him. Is he having second thoughts? Will he drop them? Will he be caught? It might not even come off, you know? So it's not necessarily a card to be so worried about, which the moon clearly is. Um, you know, it, no, it, it's... I mean, it's not nice when people deceive you, but as I say, you're going to get the information ultimately. Hmm, hmm. I think we need clarity on this card. And the clarity we get is suggesting to me that it's you who are betrayed rather than you doing the betraying. First card we have is the Seven of Wands. You're scoring some victories, but you're making people jealous. Second card is the Queen of Cups, a very compassionate, a very comparing queen that people maybe, maybe mistake the compassion for weakness. And the final card is the Two of, what is it? Two of, I know what it means, I just don't know. Two of Pentacles, yeah, Two of Pentacles. Um... So the Two of Pentacles is, is you having quite a lot on your plate and struggling a little with it. Doesn't mean to say you're not going to succeed, but struggling with it. Now that does not fit in again with the Queen of Queen of Wands. So maybe I overplayed the fact that she can use people. Maybe it's not that. Because she is someone with an doing an awful lot always. Yeah, and, you know, just like my friend at the party, you know. Maybe enough being professor of sociology at Manchester University, but she also has to ensure that everybody at the party has a great time, you know. Yeah, yeah, so many things to do. Now, I think the card that's really made me change my mind about... It's not you acting strategically. You are being betrayed and deceived. And you're being betrayed and deceived because we have this... Is it a, it's a, is it a six or is it a seven? It's a seven of wands, yeah. This seven of wands, it means you've scored some victories. You've been... Uh, they're battles rather than winning the war, but you have scored some victories. Uh, but it puts you on a pedestal. And people get jealous of you. Or people might even be annoyed that you've beaten them, you know. You look at it, she's she's standing up there for everyone to see and everyone to go, well, I'm not so keen on you, you know what you're doing, you know. Uh, yeah, she, she, she's there to, to, to be, you know, have wet sponges thrown at her almost, isn't she? And I think, yeah, you've upset some people. You've ups Your success has upset some people. Now, now don't get... Don't get worried about it. People get upset, whatever. People get upset, whatever, you know. I mean, I know because I run this channel and I'm always getting people coming out with things. And You haven't got to take it to heart. You've got to realise that some people, they, all they live for is, is upsetting people on YouTube or social media. So, you know, I, I think that's happening to you. Now, having said, don't take these things to heart. I think you do. I think you do. You're that sort of a person. You're caring. You're compassionate. You, re you genuinely care about others. So going back to the Queen, you know, me, the Queen of, of Wands, me saying that, is she being manipulative with people? No, you're not. No, you're not. You want everyone to be happy. You know, like the professor of sociology from the University of Manchester, she was just trying to make certain the party went well. There wasn't anything manipulative in it, and that that's you, you're caring. Uh, but people mistake 
your compassion. They mistake the fact that you care about them for weakness. And these are the people who are trying to exploit it. And just as, just as on YouTube, people can spot that I'm a caring, I'm an empathetic person, and therefore I'm, I'm an obvious target for them, you know. I want to just engage me in arguments because that's what they... That's all there is to, to their life, upsetting people, yeah. Sad, isn't it? Yeah. So that's what's going on here. Oh, dear. You see, now we have the Two of Pentacles. And as I say, this does fit in with this Queen of Wands because she is someone with a lot on her plate. Maybe someone who takes on too many things, you know? She's somebody that's... Yeah, she's somebody that's just doing so much. Um, but, you know, sometimes finds it a bit of a struggle to do everything. Doesn't mean to say she's not going to succeed, because she is. Um, but, yeah, this, this is a card of struggle. I mean, you look at it, you know, it, it, it must be hard enough riding a penny farthing anyway. But to be riding it along a seashore in Victorian costume, in a storm, is it a storm? It looks like a storm. Well, anyway, whatever. It's difficult enough. But the sun's coming up. You know, there's a new day coming. Things are going to get better. Uh, and they are. They are. It's, it's you know, it's, it, it, it isn't. It isn't what Tony Blair played when he was elected. Because this time things are going to really get better for you. I promise you. I promise you. So there's this little bit of deception going on. I don't know if they get away with it. Uh, but somebody is trying to deceive you. And you're missing some information, but you're going to get the information. So I don't want this deception card to play on your mind too much. I think we can summarise for you, Virgo. Virgo, this is basically a, a, a good reading. You're going to have a little bit of a chance. There's a little bit of deception going on at the end of August, probably. And a part of the reason is, is that you're, well, you're a very kind, very compassionate person. And you've also got a lot on your plate. You've got a lot of things. Do you know, some people seem to have their lives filled with things and never never really accomplish much. I'm not, I'm not necessarily saying that's you, but, you know, certainly you've got a lot of plates spinning. Um, what's going on is more about that than anything. Certainly in the past, you shouldered a, a, a tremendous burden, maybe other people's burdens, and you, you struggled a bit with it. But, you know, there's an end in sight. I, I, I don't... I, I, I think, yeah... While that was the past, I, I don't think you've come to an end of a cycle. There's a new love. There's a new love right now. Or, or was that an end of a cycle and this new love is the beginning of a new cycle? Maybe. May, maybe this is this love that is deceiving you. Hmm. Could be. that A new love or partnership, yeah. And you know, I, you know there's something wrong, and you're hanging round to see what happens. Yeah, well, it could be a partnership. I don't want to don't want to accuse a lover. You know, um, you're hanging around to see what happens, and they do betray you. They do betray you, and they betray you because they're jealous of you, and they betray you because they think you're a soft touch. And a part of the reason that you've sort of not dealt with it is you've got so many other priorities, so many other things going on. And you might have just taken your finger off the pulse a little. Uh, but um, I, I, don't think it, I don't think it's a major problem to you. And you're going to get the information that you need in the future. But I think it's just something at the back of your mind going, oh, I bet this is going to happen, I bet this is going to happen. And whenever I think like that, it always does, you know. Are you wishing it? Are you manifesting it? I mean, um, 
we could debate that for hours, couldn't we? But you are going to get the information you need ultimately, but not before this happens. Now, the one thing that could stop it from happening is you worry so much about you don't know that I think you throw the baby out with the bathwater. So if it is a new love, you finish with them because you're so worried about what they're doing and you don't know what they're doing. You know? And I, I, I don't see this betrayal as a major thing. I, I really don't. No. You know, I mean... I, 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 we don't have the information on what it is and that, that's the point that's the point about this reading we don't have the information until after August so I can't tell you what it is and it's playing on your mind but don't let it don't let it everything I think is going to turn out okay so don't worry Virgo Well, I do hope you've enjoyed Tarot from Java as an addition to my channel, The Magic of Java. Please take a look at the other, the other uh, videos that I have on this channel about Magic from Java. And I hope that you will be, become a subscriber. Now, if you want to find, hear your next tarot reading, hit the button and that will inform you of when I publish new, um, new readings. I'm certainly going to do a reading for every month, but maybe I will try them a bit more frequently, say a mid-month reading, and maybe also some special readings. But above all, thank you so much for listening to me. Thank you, and enjoy Java. <laughs>